Hello there. This is the new VW Arteon R shooting brake. Arteon, Arteon R, yes. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. Let's start right off with the engine. It's a 2 liter turbocharged petrol engine with 320 horsepower and 420 newton meters of torque. Four cylinder, of course, and it drives all four wheels via a 7 speed dual clutch automatic gearbox. And they say it will do 0 to 60 in 4.9 seconds. For a family car, that's quite quick. But this year, the RS6 is still a lot quicker. Of course, the price is also way higher. Anyway, video here for those who want. And now a surprise for everyone. There is no soft limiter in the new Arteon R. You can rev it up to the red line. Although we are talking about a brand new car, the sound in this is actually pretty good. Hear for yourself. Now what do we see on the outside? First of all, the Arteon R gets performance brakes with two piston calibers up front and a single piston at the back. We also have a more aggressive looking front bumper and these air intakes you see are real, here on the sides. Back to the wheels, they start at 19 and go up to 20 inch alloys if you want. Plus we get these blue brake calibers. At the back we see the nowadays standard on nearly every performance car quad exhaust pipes. But like mentioned, they do really sound good. And instead of the full name, we only get a big R badge on the back. But this does look cooler to me. On the inside, we get a sport steering wheel with the R logo on it. And here we have another R, but this time it's a whole button on the steering wheel. Hmm, for what that could be? The Arteon R has bigger shifters than a standard car and you may have noticed, but if you get the car in blue, then everything has a bit of blue somewhere on it. Like the seats, the center console, the dashboard or the gear knob. Let's continue. We get aluminium pedals with our floor mats, woohoo! Also, this car may not be as expensive as the Audi RS6 or some other high-end performance shooting brakes. But listen to this Audi and many more. Here we get a sunroof and massaging front seats as standard. How cool is that? Considering that the car starts at 62,000 euros, it offers more than some others for a far better price. Then again, this one may be lacking some other qualities. But this was not the point, okay? Last part for today. We go over some upgrades that this one has over the standard car. Like the suspension is stiffer with in total 15 different settings for the adaptive dampers. Oh, they are also standard for the new Arteon R. Because this is the R model and not the R line, the stability control goes all the way off. In the back we have an electronically controlled limited slip differential. That means that when the four wheel drive system drives the car, it sends up to 50% of the power to the back wheels. From there, the slip differential can send up to 100% of that power to only one wheel if necessary. This is for better corner behavior and stuff. Sadly, we don't get a drift mode in this, but the trunk capacity stays the same. 565 liters. Only 2 liters more than the sedan version, how's that possible? Ok, this one was more on the family side of things, but I still believe that with this car you get a great deal for your money. I mean you have high end German technology with a sporty edge to it, fuel economy we didn't discuss but with 7.4 liters per 100 kilometers we really can't complain. So that's a plus. And you get so many things, still. I know there are options that may be better in some aspects, but this is an all around good car and if you get one, you won't regret it. Have a great day and as always, keep it fluid.